How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and we are reacting to Barry, Season 2, Episode 6, The Truth Has a Ring to It. I have a feeling he might turn himself in. We only have three episodes left, and it is possible. There's enough characters that they could... I mean, the show is called Barry, though, but he could try to turn himself in, but then ultimately decide no and run away or... Uh, but the truth has a ring to it. Maybe he will try and actually tell the Afghanistan story. I'm not sure why he would, but like that's the only thing I can think that would have, you know, the truth has a ring to it towards it. I don't know. Could be another character that's just saying that, and it's a you know twist making us think that, but let's find out. Detective John Loach was integral to a number of high profile games. I guess we're seeing cases. one of these However, things again. Investigation has concluded this was a domestic matter between Detective Loach and another man unrelated to police business. Okay, that was good. Yes, Mr. Proxen was a two time Olympic medalist in Taekwondo. God damn. You want to get a drink? No. Okay. Hey, why don't you come to my softball practice? Why? May, you're terrible. Has Barry been hiding here? Okay. That's where all the shit went. Good. Okay. So, Barry got all of his crap. So, he, all the evidence is gone. Good. But it didn't go with, uh, with you. He just left on his own, I guess. No, wait, whoa, okay. He did. Okay, he caved. Dude. Mr. Kusno, he understands me, okay? He accepts me. Mr. Kusno, yeah, he gets you because you told him about Korngol. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Did you tell him you killed his girlfriend? He's gotta always find that one thing. Oh, did you tell him that? <laughs> I built a world where that's an asset. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, you're gonna kill that fucker over me? I'll, well, I Toxic. guess everyone's a hero of their own story, right? Fine, I'll just work with Hank without you. Work with Hank without me? What, yeah. Without me? What, what do you bring to the table without me? Yeah. Exactly. What? What, what do you have at all? How are you gonna make any money? You gonna try this again with some other dipshit? Business, idiot. Why? I'm moving back. Come on, Steve. Really? I want to be there when everything arrives. Okay. That's Anything good else? news. For now. Oh no. Oh yes, buddy. I'm washing Burmese right out of my hair. Hey, what do you mean we? Oh, we. Not him. You, no. me. Nope. Team badass. Come on. Kicking ass, making names. No. The deal was that I trained them. That's it. Yeah, we Remember? made a deal. And it's true. It's true. You know, that was planned. And I'm man of my word, okay? I'm honest Gabe. So what do you think? Honest Gabe! Are they ready? They're a lot better. Oh, Barry. Oh, man, you don't even know. Hmm? It's about to go off. Oh, boy. Hank is just standing there. What kind of dance is this? <laughs> the debt has been paid. Okay. You owe me nothing. Slate is clean, right? He's a man of his word. <clears throat> and just because we're we're not working together anymore. Hey, cut that shit. This is the moment. You just this is the moment. This, moment. this beautiful, tender moment with your accordion. You just whipped out your Please, <laughs> for trying not to smile. I can... <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, he always broke character uh, there. Where was I? Uh, it's gone. It's gone. Do you still have a special touch and bullet I gave you? Because I think it would be a real gas for me to use it to kill ass there. I didn't bring it. Oh, all right. Well, mm -hmm. go for dinner sometime. Cool too. Before you, I was small. I had uh, and now he's like no the fugues here, me. right? They see nobody. But now, I have a purpose. Mm. You gave me that. <sighs> the cycle continues. Fucking idiot. No, you're not. It's my fault. Look, I'm sorry that I called you that. I love you. The fact that we get these scenes over and over again for the fact that they're actors and they have to practice out the scenes. So, 
really like scenes that define them we get to see over and over and over and over again, or experience them at least not see them this next bit would be sort of like a direct address <clears throat> he apologizes like before and I will never feel more loved than in that moment I endure the wrath because I know what comes after it's a cycle I can't break because I want to and I don't want to. I stay for the apology. Mm -hmm. She's waiting to be judged. Just took a giant fucking turd out there. If they were expecting the old version and this new one just threw uh, them Yeah, the that's true. Yeah, but, well, clearly I, mean, I can't do did this you want version. Them to now they know the other version is a lie, so now I have no story. So, thanks. Mmm, he's finding that body. Fuchs is willing to go to such lengths. You think they couldn't find her out here, but you can? Would it be that obvious? Where would he even... I mean, they guys sort of take a trip What is off, the but... essential emotion of this scene? Okay, Sam is enraged because Sally is withholding. He gets violent, he acts out, then he feels shame. Mm -hmm. Sound familiar? Yep. I I I I can't today, Lindsay. I'm uh, really sorry. But I, I don't I know if that's good thing or bad okay? thing. Thanks. Depends Thanks. on Bye. what she wants to do with her career. Perry, yeah. mm. you better pull this off. If this doesn't get in the way of it. And he's right back where he started. Wow. He's an idiot. <laughs> and now he's lost out here. Good. I don't know how to tell you this, but one of the twins smothered the other in the womb. <laughs> this Why guy would allow this to happen? So chill. I don't, I don't know. Why are you dancing with that guy tonight? Ken? He's just a friend, Sam. Everybody was staring at you. I don't like it. It was embarrassing. You look like a whore. Sam, Not Ken is just a friend. All. Don't be an idiot. Hey, can, can I reset? Is that all right? Can we just take it from Yeah. Me? Take it in your own time. Come on, Barry. Come on. You got this. Get to that place. Get to that place. Think about moss. Okay, we are think about... I don't think this is going to do it. Because I'm it? a cop, and you're yeah. a fucking murderer. Okay, he's in that spot. He doesn't want to be, but he's in that spot. It's done. Holy shit, we're actually seeing, like, it happened there. And he just like, Phew. he's inherently a violent person. Why are you dancing with that guy tonight? Ken, he's he's just a friend. Yeah. Well, everybody was looking at you. It was embarrassing. I didn't like it. You look like a whore. Sam, don't worry about it, okay? Ugh. Ken is just a friend. He's a friend since when? Since when? Who the you fuck's met Ken? Him. When did I meet Ken? I don't know. When? He's just a friend. You're drunk. What? You're drunk. If Ken's such a good friend, tell me when I met him. Tell me the day, tell me the time when I met Ken. Sam, just don't be an idiot. Damn, it's doing good. You fucking idiot. Were you calling me? You calling me an idiot? Ah! He might be actually joking. Call me an there. idiot? That's what you want? I hope he wasn't. <laughs> Come on. I hope she is, uh... She's using this. Oh, I... Oh, that... That brought her back. Yeah. He's been saying this whole time he didn't want to do it, he didn't want to do it, and then now that he's wanting to do it... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I saw you dancing with someone else and I got jealous. You're right, I'm a fucking idiot. 
No. I don't deserve you. Okay. Or, okay, I was afraid for a second. Because I, I, I thought she was supposed to be delivering a line. It's my fault. I shouldn't have called you that. No. I love you. I love you. I'm never going to do that again. I, I know. I hold him, and I can feel his shame burning. I take care of him, so my shame grows. I stay for the apology. And scene. Hey, that was great. Yeah, oh right? my god, you were great. Okay, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Was that alright? That's damn acting we've ever well seen. That's all he gave. That's all he's gonna. Huh. Maybe want him to. So this is your real story. Yeah. 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 Are you free tomorrow? Do you have time to come in and sit down with me in the mic? Yes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You can accidentally stumble upon this grave. <laughs> you deserve all this. Oh, her. Oh, right, right. Because the car and everything. I completely forgot that she did. He did get her in the car and have her drive away and everything. Like the Chechnyans uh, took her out. <laughs> How are you gonna get it out of here? You don't even know where you are. All right, let's see how this goes down. I'm so glad we're actually gonna see it this episode, hopefully. <laughs> and you reminded the guys to double knot their boots, yes? Because I kind of have people tripping. It's dangerous, <laughs> but you know, it's also embarrassing. I hold them, great. They capture the monastery before the caravan arrives or we are oh. oh, great. Ah, uh, not good at all. <laughs> Oh, Christopher. <laughs> you know, Kazam? Uh, you. The fucking accordion player sold us out? We are very disappointed in you, Hank. Okay, in my defense. <laughs> oh, no. Hank! You are chicken a la king. Oh, you. man. Mm -hmm. He's coming back here to get the chicken a la king. Jeffrey. Oh. Take that away. Uh, sure, Jean. Is he moving on? It's his last, you know, memory, I guess. His last, uh, you know, before he moves on. Oh, great. Have you decided on dinner, sir? Yeah, I think so. I'll have what he's having. My God, Pukes is the most evil piece of shit. I can't believe I gave him some leeway at the one episode. Garbage, awful guy. Fuck, dude. Looking out. Watching the leaves falling in. Uh, okay. Was something like Fucking what happened this episode? Uh, oh man, I don't have my uh, individual segments. It made it so much easier to talk about. Um, uh, right, I wonder if we're going to see more of May and any more of the police because Fuse is just going directly to Jean now. And the only police person we have left is May, like that we know of there. Um,. I mean, I guess we have the two IT tech guys in the police force, but I don't really think that counts. They weren't detectives or anything. How the fuck did May become a detective, by the way? How, I mean, we've seen these police. We know how. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I feel bad for... I feel bad for Deanna, was that her name? Uh, having your ex and your boyfriend murder each other. 
like yeah murder each other because that's that is what Ronnie did too he did murder um uh uh what's his name Louch he did murder Louch like in in cold blood uh for really no I mean because he shot him to be well yeah because he shot him um, but he was also going to kill Barry. Like, he, he would, if he would have killed Barry, it would have also been a murder because he didn't have to. He could have just said, hey, guys, this guy is the guy who did this to me. But, um... <laughs> like, uh, Fuchs isn't even a master of, like, deception or of uh, manipulation or anything like that. He's not good at what he does at all. I, I said he he was before, but it's really just that everyone around him is so stupid that uh, he is able to manipulate them so well. From Goron to Barry, you know, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, to the other, uh, the, whoever he got to do that one job at the beginning of um, Season 2. Uh, he, he is completely incompetent. He is a terrible person, and he only exists to, to siphon whatever he can off of anybody else. I cannot believe he got in the car with him. I really thought it was going to be a big... Like, that was a big moment, and he just got in the car anyway. I also can't believe that uh, the, the guy with the, the uh, messed up arm was, was training, too. Like, even he was, was still training through all of that. And yeah, I, again, as I said, the, the cycle continues. Uh, <sighs> Barry now training more soldiers that... Uh, giving them their purpose to kill and everything, and then... Uh, they all just get caught immediately. And now maybe they all are going to be executed. Who knows what's going to happen to Hank next episode. He better not get killed off. I want him to stick around for season three. I know there is a season three. Um, he did talk about the whole bullet thing. Uh, and we never really, like, he was just like, ah, well, normal bullet is cool too. But uh, maybe Barry will go to, like, give him the special bullets and uh, see what's going down and help him out in some way. I could see that happening. Um, yeah, like, once again, Sally being the only one in this class with any talent at all, like, she is an extreme douche because she knows that and, and, you know, says it all the time and exemplifies it in her behavior, but, uh, it is very, very true, and now we finally get to see Barry really using his, uh, his, uh, experiences for the first time to, uh, uh, boost his, his acting uh, skills. You know, we've known that he, he can do that for so long, but uh, he just has refused to do it for a full scene or anything. And now we're finally going to see that, that scene played out. Fantastic. I'm glad we got to see that, you know. We, we usually get, like, bits and pieces of it or just get them practicing it. Uh, or it's just really bad acting. We're getting to see that scene played out with great acting. I mean, so, so much great acting that I thought she was actually choked. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, and I'm glad she was able to tell her truth. And maybe now they'll be making a documentary based off maybe not a documentary, but like a uh, a mockumentary. Well, not, no, that's not the correct term. Uh, I'm unsure. Well, you know, a movie based off of it or something or a TV show. Who knows? But they might be uh, using her story for something, which is great. Uh, the class seems to really look up to them now. I I would hope uh, after that because that was an extremely powerful performance. Um, man. Gene just continuously bringing up the, like, uh, because you killed and you got away with it, Barry. You killed and you got away with it. And just keeps bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. Uh, <laughs> Fuchs, like, I'm so glad he got his comeuppance of everything he had to go through to get that car, though. I'm glad it wasn't easy. I'm glad it took him forever and he got the, you know, nature really took the shit out of him. We got to see what actually happened with Janice in real time. Ugh. Just two shots to the chest. Bam, bam. And then he had to put her in the car, drive her all the way out there, cover the car, and hope that nobody would ever find it. Because they're probably going to get... Like, what? I guess that, yeah, you know, uh, Fugues can't prove it to the cops, but he could prove it to... And what he, I'm not really sure if he can even go back to the cops at this point. Um... Because they might still have him for the bizarre stuff, Gordon Bazaar stuff, um, with his tooth and everything, and the soda can that he gave them. Uh, but to be fair, all those files are gone now, to be fair, I assume. 
uh, shit, what was I saying? That, um, oh yeah, yeah, so he's going to, uh, going to Gene with this information about the body and the car and all that, uh, which I'm surprised he got out of the woods so easily, um, it, because Gene will know that of the people who were there, Barry's the only one who could do it, Barry, especially with what he's told him about, I can never remember the name of the place, but the Afghanistan story, he's gonna, he's gonna put two and two together, he's gonna know. And right as Gene is trying to move on to, like, Gene is just trying to move on, and Fuchs is coming in here like, nope, fuck that, hey, I found your dead girlfriend, ha ha. Alright, alright, alright. I will see you guys for the next one. Until then, get the fuck out of here.